ओके क्वेश्चन देखो क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी नाइन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर एटीन ऑफ एच सी वर्मा फिगर शोज अ ट्रांसपेरेंट हेमोस्फेयर ऑफ रेडियस थ्री सेंटीमीटर मेड ऑफ अ मटीरियल ऑफ रिफ्रैक्ट इंडेक्स टू A narrow beam of parallel rays is incident on the hemisphere as shown in the figure. Are the rays totally reflected at the plane surface? So the this rays going straight up to the center. These two rays will slightly deviate. These two rays will slightly deviate, but the angle of deviation will be very small. So we could say that when the rays reach over here, their angle will be close to 45 degree. You could say that between 40 degree to 50 degree, something like that. A 5 degree deviation is possible between these two rays. Okay. So the rays reach near the center or near this plane surface, somewhere between 40 degree and 50 degrees. Correct. So the question is asking: Are the rays totally reflected at the plane surface? So first of all, what is the critical angle over here? Critical angle will be sine inverse one by mu. Since mu is uh, two, so we will get 30 degree. And 30 degree is much smaller than. Uh, 45 degree, right? 40 degree or uh, 50 degree. So All the rays will get reflected from this surface. So yes, the answer to the first part is yes. They will get reflected. Now let's look at the part B. Find the image formed by the refraction at the first surface. So light rays are coming over here. They will be refracted by the surface. So where is the image formed? So for that, this will act like your principal axis. Okay. So let's draw the diagram again. This is my principal axis. Okay, this is the refracting surface of radius. How much? Now I am taking this direction as positive. Okay, and radius is also in this direction, so radius is positive. How much? Will be three uh, centimeter. Correct. Radius is three centimeter, and the light rays are coming like this. Light rays are coming parallel to principal axis. Since they are coming parallel to each other, they are coming from infinity. So we could say that U will be infinity. Okay, for the rays, correct. Now, uh, this is uh, on the right side we have air, so refractive index is one. On the left side we have refractive index mu. So the rays, when passing through, this will go straight. Okay, this ray when passing through the surface will get refracted and will meet somewhere here. So this is the position of image. So this is. Distance v. So the formula for refraction from spherical surface is what? Mu by v minus one by u equal to mu minus one by r. So over here u is infinity and mu is how much? Two. So two by v minus zero equal to two minus one by three centimeter. So v will come out to be six centimeter. Okay. And this means what? In the original diagram, uh, when you extend this ray, this distance is three centimeter, so you need to extend further in the same direction. Okay, correct. So this will be again forty-five degree. This is three centimeter. Image is formed at six centimeter from the surface, so we need to go three centimeter further over here. So this is the position of image. Okay, this is the position of image formed by the spherical surface. So I call it I one. Okay, and this will be three centimeter. This distance is three. This is three. So total will be six. Okay, six centimeter. Now what is the part C asking? Find the image formed by the reflection or by refraction at the plane surface. So this is your image formed by this spherical surface, and this image will act as the object for this plane surface. And since the plane surface is creating reflection of the rays, so it will behave like a plane mirror. And this is the object. So from the plane mirror, the image will be created. The image will be created over here. Wait a little ahead. Yeah, this is the image I two created after reflection by the plane surface. This is three centimeter. This is three centimeter. Okay. So this is the image I two after reflection. Correct. Find the image formed by the reflection or by the refraction at the plane surface. Okay. 
so this is 3 cm first image this is also 3 cm from the center again second image after reflection trace qualitatively the final rays as they come out of the hemisphere okay so now for this final surface since the image is lying exactly on the surface so if we use this formula u is 0 for this image okay this image is now acting as an object for the spherical refracting surface and u is 0 u is 0 means what v should also be 0 so the final rays will come out directly from this point like this okay the final rays will come out like this this rays will pass through the center okay so they will go like this okay so the final rays will be coming out as if they are coming out from this particular point okay so that's it this is the question solved